Hi, uh, so my name is Adam Borowski. I work at NetGuru as a web developer and uh, I spend a lot of time writing code like this guy. And some time ago I wanted to do it faster, which is a popular idea among programmers. And uh, from a biological perspective, uh, efficiency is about maximizing the output of electrical activity in the brain and minimizing the inefficient movements of the body, our fingers. So we want as little finger movement as possible and lots of change. And by the way, that's an inefficient setup because why do you need a lamp if you touch type? You know? <laughs> anyway, the thing we optimize here is text editing for which a keyboard is used to push a button and some characters appear on the screen. But as you know, there is also uh, model text editing, which is like having several keyboards. Depending on the mode, either a character appears or something else might happen. So I tried to learn Vim, uh, but as you know, uh, Vim is it's quite complicated. <laughs> uh, it's hard. Uh, and. Uh, I took a look in the model text editors and what caught my attention was one called Cocoon. Uh, and the key difference with Vim is in grammar because in Vim we say delete word. So an object of the edit uh, follows uh, the verb. So you hit the D key first to indicate the verb deletion and then what has to be deleted. So it looks like that as if the cursor was just eating the words. Uh, whereas in Cocoon, it's inverted. So first you have the object of the edit and then you decide what to do with it. And the result is more feedback because first we see something and then something is done with it. Uh, apart from that, Cocoon has some other advantages. Uh, it has less modes, multiple selections and all that makes it simple instead of hard. Uh, but I really liked it this cocoon, but the only problem was that it's terminal based and I don't feel like an 80s hacker. Uh, and setting up a terminal based integrated development environment was not fun for me. Uh, and I really like how much, in, uh, how much feedback a graphical user interface can give. So then I realized that you don't have to switch, that these are two different things with different responsibilities. So a favorite ID is not in conflict with a newfound editor. And I already have my favorite ID, which is called Atom. So I decided to take this Cocoon ideas and insert them into Atom by writing a plugin. Uh, it's called Atom Cac Mode. And uh, you can see the docs here. It's far from feature parity, but uh, I'm working on it. And while developing it, I was surprised by how hackable Atom is, because here are some examples of the methods that uh, Atom uses internally and that you can hijack basically. Uh, so what I did was to hijack the keyboard input, so it does, so the characters are not sent into the buffer, but I'm just calling some, uh, some methods to, uh, to make changes to the text. So that brings us back to model text editing, because uh, this code kind of looks like a command sequence in a model text editor. And despite obvious differences, it's pretty much the same. Because in order to uppercase some characters, we use English words in code in Atom. Or in Vim, you, we use keystrokes where capital V selects line and capital U uppercases the characters. In Cocoon, uh, the keys are different, but still, it's two keystrokes which act like words combined into a sentence and we have a change. So remember what I said about grammar. If it has grammar, it's like a language and a rather, and a rather specialized one, uh, not used for to describe a world, but to express changes to a text. So when we see it as a language, you can think about it as communicating with the computer, like talking to a machine probably remember this guy. He was talking a lot, but uh, never listened. Uh, <laughs> but computers can listen, of course, they have microphones. Uh, so I can show you if it works. Desktop right, 
that's a bit small. Select all, uppercase, right? Desktop left, please. <laughs> Desktop left. Okay, nice. Anyway, why should we stop at talking? And why only use language for text editing? It can be much more universal. Why not movement? Imagine movement as pushing to remote, like this move or that this movement means reverting a deploy, or triggering a, <laughs> <laughs> triggering a test suite like that, <laughs> or releasing a new version like this. Then one day you walk into the office and everybody's working, <laughs> you see. But they are not, they are not sitting at their desks. You know, it's a busy office still. Because we have the technology for motion tracking, so why not use it for communication? And not only, not only for fun, not only because we can, but also to prevent a slow and painful death you're headed towards, because I hate to break it to you, but seeding is killing you. And programming is fascinating, but why should it be so sedentary and so boring for the body uh, and there are many reasons why sitting all day is bad uh, so instead of dealing with bugs like this we can do it like that <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, think about it next time you sit at your desk thank you